By far, I think this is the best episode of Azetta to date that we have seen so far, in my personal opinion, because that episode I just finished watching was so good in terms of the action and the way it displayed the war. It was just so good. I was so entertained while watching this. And honestly, I like the emotions and the tension that this episode brought to the table with how the war is going down. Even though there's magic on the side of our characters, they can use magic. We have, you know, a Zeta that can use magic and save the day. I like the display of the way the war was done towards the beginning. So the episode kind of starts off where... You have these people in the trench, just two characters, they're soldiers, they're talking to each other. You have one boy that's kind of young, he's like new to being a soldier. He's kind of nervous, he's shaken up and all that. And you have this old veteran that's talking to him like, Hey, hey, you, you need to calm down. You need to not be as nervous when shit before shit even happens. You need to kind of chill down, calm down, and just, you know, relax. You just need to chillax right now. And, I mean, you had to wear these two soldiers just talking. It's before anything happened, before the bombing started happening. And, you know, they were just talking. And all of a sudden you see airplanes coming in to drop down bombs. Bombers are coming in. And all of a sudden, once all this happens, you just see the bombs just hitting the land, slowly just hitting. And you see these explosions from the distance from them just getting closer and closer. And you could feel the tension from the soldiers, the way they felt like this dread, like they might die in this bombing. And you saw how this man, he was scared, the little boy, he was scared. And the old soldier, he grabbed him, pushed him down. And this was when you realized how good this episode was. When the boy wakes up, the man that he was talking to just a moment ago, and he was just, you know, this man was telling him to relax, he was dead on top of him. And I like the display of that. It, in a way, it could be displayed as a shock, shock factor, just, you know, trying to shock the viewers. But also, that's kind of how war is depicted. War is fast-paced, and... Anything can happen in war. You could be talking to your friend one moment in a trench, you know, saying, Hey, I, I need you to reload my gun. Next moment, your head's just popped off and you're dead. You don't even know what the fuck happened. You're just dead on the ground. That's how war is. And through multiple scenes throughout this episode of Azetta, you see characters that are talking with each other. You see the situation where they're fighting and firing at the tanks coming in, seeing these people charging over, trying to get to them. And you see how these people are just dropping. Like that one scene with the machine gun where the man's like, hey, you know how to use a machine gun, right? He's like, I need ammo. And so he's, you know, he's the main little boy character, like the nuke recruit. He's getting, you know, ammo for the guy that's using the machine gun. He's shooting and all that. And all of a sudden his head just, he's, he's gone. He, he just hits the ground and he's dead like that. I like the display of that. It was very realistic in a way of how war really is. Because war is like that. You'll be talking to someone one moment and they just drop dead like that. And it carries over and you gotta continue marching on. There was just such a, a sense of dread throughout this episode. Knowing that our cast, our country, was losing the fight and dying as the episode carried on. And the saddest thing about it was that they weren't really trying to win in general. They were just trying to stall for time, hold off the enemies as long as they could before they drop dead that was their overall mission which is a very tragic mission because i mean imagine this you're in the trenches you're seeing people just charging you trying to kill you see these bomber planes you see these tanks rolling in and you realize your only objective is not to win not victory no your objective is to stall as long as possible until every man that is on that battlefield is dead and that is so sad. It's such a sad representation of war. But that's how some wars have turned out in history. And I, I feel like Azetta did an amazing job with that element of this episode. And it's what really carried this episode for me because of that. I just love the theme and the atmosphere this episode gave off when I was watching it. And when you finally had Azetta coming in trying to save the day, it just made it so much more epic. Because, you know, what seemed like everything was lost, all was lost, everybody was going to die, all all of a sudden you see the shining hope come in and try to save everyone you see this person just flying in taking down planes which badass by the way like oh big fan of the fighting the dog fighting going on this episode like holy shit i like the dog fighting in the first episode that was badass as fuck but the dog fighting in this episode when you see a zeta flying around shooting down planes these planes are just crashing into tanks and people on the ground and then all of a sudden once that's all done she's got the skies cleared she starts flipping fucking tanks i'm like yo that's so epic she would just see these tanks flipping and stuff and i mean if you're in war you'd freak out if you saw something like that someone could just come 
jumping on the battlefield, flipping tanks and just crushing people with it or hitting other tanks with it, that's a scary thought. Just think about that if you're on war. And I like, once again, how Izetta blends in the perfect amount of fantasy and realistic warfare because not many series can do that. Usually when it comes to series like this, Usually you have too much fantasy or too much, you know, warfare, like realistic warfare, and there's just not a perfect blend of it. It just, it doesn't mesh well. It's like rough edges trying to stick together, and it just doesn't work. But for some reason, Azetta is working. Somehow, the writer of the series, and the way the animators are displaying it, has somehow managed to make it work, where these two settings that usually would not work together is working and it feels just right and you can appreciate it. Even some of the details on the planes, to the tanks, to the guns, to the bullets, all the little details that really change up the immersion of the series. You could just, you know, get yourself immersed while watching the episode and then all of a sudden you see these fantasy scenes, it doesn't really throw you much out of it. And so yeah, is that a really, a really strong series from fall 2016 of anime and I did not think I would enjoy this series as much as I have already but it clearly continues to be a good series. We're already three episodes in, and I'm still enjoying this series. So I'm going to ask the question. People that are just now watching the series, just like myself, anime only. I don't know what original source is. I don't know if this is based off of a light novel, visual novel, or a manga. But anime only to this series, how do you feel so far? Are you going to continue watching it, or are you going to drop it? I mean, do you feel like this series warrants you to continue to the very end of the series because of how good it's been so far? Please let me know your honest thoughts in the comments below, because so far... I've really enjoyed this series. Now, it could still turn to shit, it could still turn into a piece of shit series before everything is said and done, but at this time, though, it's still a good series, and I just, I'm a big fan. Even though this episode was simple, it was just about fighting, just a war going on, the representation of it was just perfect for me to really enjoy it. So let me know your thoughts in the comments below. You all have a wonderful day or night, wherever you live. Please be safe. Chibi out.